In this video, I use this can of Rust-Oleum aircraft remover to remove the paint off of that tailgate right there. You could buy this at several different retail stores for about 12 bucks. Anyway, let's get started. When using stuff like this, uh, any kind of chemicals, especially paint remover, it's good to wear gloves. Keep try to keep it off your clothes. Whenever I use paint remover, I actually go with the full face shield. And last but not least, you need some good ventilation. I got this fan kind of creating a draft to get, get the fumes away from me. And I have the front door open. Okay, so I figured out that this is going to work. You can use this on some paints. It either works or it doesn't. If you get sprayed on like that, and... Uh, 15 minutes later, it scrapes off like this. Then you could use it. This other stuff is just kind of liquefying it. So that's probably going to have to be sanded off. But th this is going to save me a lot of time. Because it's taking this glue right off. One coat of that um, aircraft remover. And it's, it's coming right off. Okay, so now that I see that it works, I'm going to go ahead and spray the rest of it with a kind of a wet coat. Okay, the can says 20 to 45 minutes, so I'm going to let this sit for about... Okay, so after about 45 minutes, it looks very promising. About 90%, 99% of it's curdled up and it's probably going to flake right off. And look at that. This stuff is coming right off. This is really easy. This sure beats trying to sand it off. And it's probably actually cheaper because if you use sand and disc or like some kind of paint stripper, like disc on a grinder, it, you'd probably use a couple of them and that, that's probably more expensive than using this aircraft remover. I really like this. Okay, this is where we're at after uh, using almost the whole bottle. The bottle's empty, but it was, it was, you know, I'd already used a little bit out of it. You can see right there, it's almost to bare metal. Some places it is, but like, see the thing is, on this primer, it didn't really make it curdle up. It just kind of liquefied it, so nah, I just kind of moved it around a little bit. It didn't really come off. But overall, I'm satisfied with that. that that's going to save me a lot of time. It took almost all of that blue. It had a layer of clear coat and blue uh, base coat on it. it. took almost all of that off. I actually think I could have got more of the blue off if I was to have waited longer. And I think I kind of sprayed some of it too wet and kind of like used too much of the remover. And also, I didn't wait long enough on some of it. And when I scraped it off, a lot of it was still wet. So uh, I don't know. But either way, that's it. If you found this video uh, helpful, please like and subscribe.